At the center of the screen, we have the e-learning course we are creating. This is a what you see is what you get experience. In edit mode, we are seeing more or less what the learner will see, with the added advantage in that we can double click on anything on the screen to edit it. Here, we only have the content element holding text. Double clicking allows you to edit the screen as shown. We can also switch to preview mode if we want to 100% replicate the learner experience. This will allow us to press buttons and remove tags on the screen as shown. This brings us now to the Properties panel. Here the user can define properties of any selected object. So you can see that the selected text caption can have a background added. There are indeed many different options here for each selected item. They differ depending on which item is currently selected. Moving around now to the top of the screen, we will now look at the bottom toolbar. This is essentially a toolbox of tools which we can add to our design. Text, buttons, images and videos, video or audio narrators, YouTube and animations can all be added. If we click on one, say animations, we can see that there are libraries of resources available in the system. OpenElms produces bespoke e-learning for many of the world's top organizations. Resources from these projects continuously feed back into the system, making it easier for you to create professional-looking e-learning without the hassle. You can, of course, always upload your own as well. On the top toolbar, here we can do a number of actions which can affect the whole course. The first button allows us to add a new screen. Pressing on this reveals nearly all th the 300 templates recycled from previous projects carried out by a development team. This allows you to build on their professional expertise. And as with all our resources, such as images, and animations, backgrounds, etc., the number is growing all the time. Also, you can search by keyword for any topic. But for now, we shall reset the search and just select a simple blank template and load it in like so. Other features include saving, reverting to the last save, and edit buttons which can be used to cut, copy and paste anything from elements on the screen to entire screens themselves. This incidentally is one screen, which can store any number of subscreens. With these you can duplicate subscreens to have any number of steps on the screen. This structure is represented in the right hand panel. You can see here this screen has two steps. The first screen, and if you press the next button, it has a subscreen. Highlighting any subscreen and pressing the duplication button or the deletion button will add or remove steps as shown, allowing you to expand and contract the structure of any given template. Here you can see we can advance to these newly created subscreens. Refreshing the screen returns us to the first screen in the sequence. Now I want to introduce you to the concept of buttons. A button can essentially be any image, or in this case, a more traditional button, which when pressed, will lead the learner to another part of the learning. We do this by entering what we call a target ID. To show you how this works, we will give the button a target ID of 202, and then switch to preview mode. We can see that by pressing on it, we skip forward immediately to 202, missing out step 201. This is the essence of interactivity in the system, enabling you to get learning pathways, knowledge check questions, etc. into your learning. You can view some of the question templates in the system for further information. A final feature of OpenElms Creator which needs special attention are the quizzes. You can add a quiz by adding the quiz template. This enables you to quickly create questions by double clicking on the question text and then you can edit the question and answers here. Note that for multiple choice or selection quizzes, we can have further interactivity. For example, here we can select further learning depending upon the answer given and even force the user to skip questions depending upon their previous answer. If we look at the properties for the quiz, we can do things like set a pass mark, change the type of quiz to an audit or assessment or a skill scan. Note these are only available on the Open Elms LMS. Normal quizzes will work on any SCORM version 1.2 compliant LMS. We can return to the e-learning by closing the screen here.
And if we want to reset the e-learning to how it was before, then we can delete the added screens. We just need to click here at the top of the navigation structure and press delete. This removes the screen from our presentation and we repeat the process for the next screen we added. OK, that's the basic editing functions. There is one other feature to look at, which is the settings button on the toolbar. Clicking on this allows you to customize global settings such as branding and other functionality. So that's the basic functionality dealt with. The rest of this demonstration will show you how quickly you can create a course yourself. This course has taken five minutes to produce, but has been sped up.